Alrighty, what's up? What's up, everybody? Jonathan here with Boston Collectors. And in today's video, is it worth the price? Ooh, is it worth the price? <laughs> now, before we start diving into the photos and what's in the box, let's go ahead and talk about the price. $300 right away. Yeah, that jump out at you. I think that's the first thing a lot of us look at when we go to Sideshow. But as always, unless you're going to pay that $300 price tag right out front, you know, that's you. If you got it like that, that's cool. But for me, I like to go ahead and drop my NRD and I like to do the payment plan. So if you're like me, don't forget to apply that before you check out. Go ahead and check the number of payments if that interests you. The max for this particular order is set to five and $54 a month starting in March. The NRD is set for $30 and if that interests you feel free to go ahead and pre-order. Next up we do have the expected to ship date for next year between July 2023 and December. It's a nice window of time. Now again before we start diving into the photos let's see what's in the box. We do have the authentic and detailed likeness of Timothy Oliphant as Cobb Vanth and it is a newly developed head sculpt with the highly accurate facial expression and skin texture. This was actually commissioned by an artist named Yai. Now here's the digital texturing print. They went ahead and did this I'd imagine in an application similar to Blender. So they digitally created this. However they went ahead and mentioned that it was modified in clay texture and painted by Viva Lai, who is a Hot Toys sculptor. We also have the interchangeable Boba Fett helmet with articulated rangefinder. We also have the distress effects on the armor, weapons, and accessories. Six pieces of interchangeable glove hands, including one pair of relaxed hands, one pair of gesture hands, one pistol holding hand, and one right fist. Once you get to this point, one pistol holding hand and one right, they lost me. Moving on to the costume, we have the Mandalorian armor and vest with the distressed effects. We have a pair of brownish red gauntlets with the weathering effects, similar to what we've seen on the previous Boba releases. The reddish brown colored long sleeve shirt, brown belt with the ammo and pistol holster, a pair of brown colored pants. <laughs> Always gotta have your brown pants, right? <laughs> you have one pair of yellowish brown colored boots, a red colored scarf, and one yellow right knee guard with the weathering effects. Now, as far as weapons, we also have a blaster rifle and one blaster pistol. Last but not least, as far as accessories go, we have the jetpack with the distressed effects and a detachable rocket. We have two thruster fire accessories, which are attachable to the jetpack, one firing effect, which is attachable to the rocket, one drink bottle, which is essentially that's the spotchka. And last but not least, we have a specially designed themed diorama figure base. Now, I don't really like going over the photos here on Sideshow because when you try to zoom in, it kind of lose the detail there on their website. We're going to go ahead and kick it over to the Hot Toys Facebook here where we can zoom in and get a little bit more detail. So $300. Let's go ahead and look into the photos. First things first, for me, I was wondering if this could come off the armor and gauntlets and reveal, you know, a fully developed shirt. If, because if that's the case, then we could have both a season one version of Cobb Van and a season two. But again, jumping over here for $300 talking about getting two of these you gotta be a really big fan of Cobb Van. now i'm also wondering if we're gonna have detail in the helmet similar to what we had with boba fett release that's tbd i'd imagine that was also not discussed in the description on sideshow and i mean right away the first thing we really see here and if it does come with a molded neck which i, I can't say that i'm too worried but for those of you who have figures with a molded neck you know that there's limited articulation can't really get away with too too much I'm okay with it though, because I think it looks great. Another feature that sticks out to me is the rocket. I mean, you know, he could have bought this off of some Jawas or something along with this, or, you know, he's got maybe a stash house of rockets. I like that it, uh, it's a little bit shorter than Boba Fett. We also have a newly developed weapon here and the hands kind of remind me of Moff Gideon in a sense. I like them though. I just don't like the selection. That's all. And another thing that I want to point out because the armor looks a little bit different here. You know, it, it doesn't look as distressed. This is something that we'll touch on later though. I mean, with this one, I think the first thing any of us noticed was that base. I really like the base design here. This, I, I would love to see more of this. I don't know if I want to see this though for $300, but <laughs> I do like the look of this. It's subtle. It gets the idea across. I'd imagine this is from the cantina. It's, it's great. I love it. We need this. We need more of this. As we start to move up a little bit, it looks as if the, uh, the grenades here or the canisters on his hip are removable. I don't know how many people will want to remove those, but do have that option. It looks like we have pleather there on the belt and on the holster. It looks better than the transport troop. It's better than those and it's great to me. Moving on up the rest of it, it's, it's 
pretty similar to what we've seen with uh, with Boba Fett. Now here's where before it hit Sideshow, I was questioning the, the hand selection. They have more of a relaxed hand sort of gripping the spotchka, and it looked a little nasty too. I don't know why they would allow the spotchka as an accessory and not give a proper hand for this. Let me know what you all think down below. But in any kind of lighting though, this portrait shines. We also have a tease of Mando off to the right here. And then, speaking of Mando, before we get into Cobb Van, Another thing I noticed was that they're flying, and I guess Dan's uh, jetpack there just kind of gave out. We don't have any effects there, but you know, it happens. <laughs> Another thing, I, I feel like there's a seam here along the uh, the sides of his cape, which could indicate where, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you all think. But he looks great back there next to uh, next to Cobb Vanth. Speaking of Cobb Vanth, it looks as if we have sort of a split cut boot design, but it's almost seamless as well. Like you can't really tell 100%. Later on though, we'll definitely be able to see that. So here again, I, I'm wondering what you all think in terms of taking this armor off. Do you feel like that the neck would be a little too long? Do you feel like maybe butzing with it a little bit will make it look natural, a little bit normal, if you will? I think it will be fine, but again, it could have that similar effect that we have with figures where you take off clothes and armor pieces that sort of make the figure look a little strange, right? I'm pretty sure futzing with this, you can make it look somewhat normal, but it isn't meant to be season two Cobb fan. It's meant to be season one. But as collectors, we like to sort of fudge that line a little bit if we can within reason. Now, I personally think that the head sculpt looks amazing. I like the design of it. I think Guy did a really, really good job with this. My only problem is the fact that the head, he's got this sort of Megamind head going on here. The hair isn't supposed to look like this. It's supposed to sort of, he's got a fade that sort of end up going up into his haircut design. But how do you do that with a sculpt figure? I mean. They're the experts, I'm not. I'd imagine that you can, honestly, but that's my only issue with the portrait. Other than that, the rest of it looks amazing. I love that we have a little bit of dimension there with the hair on the front. I like the way that his beard look, I, I think his facial expression is perfect. I also like that he's sort of looking up ever, ever, ever so slightly, because let's face it, essentially Cobb Vanth is a cowboy. Right? He's a space cowboy. His head's going to be lowered a little bit. He's going to be looking up at you. I think this is perfect. It's not too much. He's not looking side. I think it's perfect personally. So here's where we get to see the double jointed knees. And we also get to see a closer look at that split cup boot design. I'm a big fan of both. If you're going to give me both, I will gladly take them. He looks amazing. I also love the way that the blaster looks. It's holstered perfectly in his holster. This is a really good looking figure so far. And again, next to Din Djarin, who's looking well, they look good together. I like that they're sort of teasing us with that new paint application to Din Djarin's armor. He's sort of got this dull appearance on the chest and more of a shiny appearance on the helmet and his shoulder guard. But it's making me wonder if this is just lighting. I would imagine all of this is shiny. I don't know. We'll have to hang tight on that. But he looks ready to me. I'd imagine that we should get a release on him sometime soon, probably even before the year is out. And here we have the rocket effect with the accessory, again, which I think looks really cool. I like, I prefer the sort of smaller rocket head, if you will. I think this looks a little bit better, personally. And here we have the accessory sheet. Everything that's going to be included with the figure will be seen right here. Now, as for the hands, again, the, the hands are very limited. Uh, they could have done better than this. I would have liked a trigger hand for both sides. I would have liked two fists at the very least and a spotch guy. Let me know what you all think down below. You know, if that's too much to ask for. Let us know what you think. Other than that, all of that out of the way. I want to compare a couple of things because this is a $300 figure. And again, keep in mind, this is season one Mandalorian. So let's do a few comparisons. Here we have Cobb Vanth released today, September 26th of 2022. I don't really quite remember when a lot of these other releases came about, but that's something to consider because he was just announced today. A lot of these were announced last year. So Cobb Vanth is sitting at $300, whereas Boba Fett currently sitting at $285. We're going to ignore the limited time offer because chances are when you watch this video later on, either this will be sold out or that offer will be gone. Now, Boba Fett sitting at 285. However, this particular version did not come with a portrait. 
right? But he did come with quite a few accessories. As for the swoop bike, 285. Again, this was announced last year, supposedly coming out this year, soonish. The swoop bike sitting at 285, and you also get Grogu. Cobb Vanth is worth more than the swoop bike. Cobb Vanth is worth more than Ahsoka Tano. This is also the regular version. And last but not least, Cobb Vanth is worth more than Luke Skywalker, which is again the collector's edition. He does come with, you know, a, a subtle display diorama. It's, it's very interesting. So the only thing that I can come up with for this is the fact that that maybe Timothy Oliphant's likeness is probably a little bit more on the expensive side. Let me know what you all think down below in the comments. I personally think that it's a little too expensive. I would have been okay with the 275, maybe 265. 300 is asking for a lot, especially with the hand selection. I get we have this sort of diorama display. It's quite a bit. One more thing before we close and let you all know what we think about this. I do want to point out that Top Vance armor is a, it looks a little bit better than the armor here with Boba Fett, right? Well, I actually like the attention to detail in terms of it looking a little bit more raggedy here on Boba Fett than it does with Cobb Van. Reason being, well, I mean, Mando did take a tumble in season two after a couple bounty hunters tried to loot him. And on top of that, him having to travel from Tatooine to Pagadon, where the uh, the big ice spider was, I'd imagine that would have something to do with the main application, maybe chipping off a little more. You're going from this scorching hot weather to this icy cold planet. I do like the attention to detail with that looking a little bit different again with this being a prototype though because i did notice that the stickers look kind of different i do hope that that look a little bit better because i don't see why it's a little more worn here and not there but that's me being very picky this is a prototype comparison to a release but this was also a prototype photo so other than that though, again, that's me being very picky. Let's go back to the Sideshow website. So for $300, is this worth it? This is up there with Darth Vader, almost. Darth Vader set for 330, that's tough. You just really have to love Cobb Vance's character. You have to enjoy the Mandalorian to really say that you want this because if not, and you just like Boba Fett and you like his armor, you could easily pick up Boba Fett at 285 with more accessories a better array of hands, and possibly picking up a portrait. For me though, I went ahead and picked this up. We're reviewers here on the channel, but would I have picked this up if I weren't reviewing? That is tough. It is very, very tough. $300 is a lot to ask for, and I don't need all of the Boba Fett armors in my collection. <sighs> we don't know what Cobb Vanth's future is. We don't know if we'll have a season two of the Book of Boba Fett. We don't know if we'll see him in season three of the Mandalorian. You just have to really love Cobb Vance's character and maybe even like the armor. The hopes that this could be used in a season two representation of Cobb Vance. You also have that possibility. Maybe you want Cobb Vance without the armor. If that's the case, then I would say $300 is worth it. I might not have Cobb Vance in this armor if I don't if I'm able to take that off of him without him looking strange. If that's the case, then I'll gladly pick him up. But since we're reviewers again, we went ahead and did it for you all. Stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Let us know what you think. The asking price a little ridiculous? What kind of homework did you do if you did? Stay tuned for tomorrow's upload. We'll be unboxing and doing the Chrome Clone Trooper. Stay tuned for that. And regardless of what we think, if you like it, we love it.